Hi, I'm going to give a reply to this interesting video. There's a bit of history being unpacked there. So I'm going to have my two penny worth and just have a little say. Anyway, I don't want to be had for, for cheating by sort of copying this. It's not a copy, it's just to, to sort of place it in context. Anyway, as I say, I've got too many interests, but if you like, you'll find in this little book, I don't mind you asking questions on these, if I can answer I will. This is the Radio Amateur's Handbook, it was the, the standard manual of amateur radio communication, it's actually an American book, the, the American Radio League, it was dated 42th edition 1965. It's got in there, it's got all the valves you ever need to find out about. And I believe that's all. I'm only putting this in for a quick one, but come back if you need any further info. I'll try and give it to you from the book. As you can hear, he's, that one's just ending. Anyway, I'll put this on. Some of the valves I've noticed are quite interesting. There was one there. An EHT rectifier, that was the one that had on about the, the x-rays. They're only dangerous if it was actually on. Normally these were in a TV, and I'm going back a few few years, they're known as EHT rectifiers, and they're to do with the, the line scanning and that. It was connected to a high voltage transformer. Um, it's EHT extra high, EHT extra high tension, and it's... Um, actually a rectifying valve. Anyway, I'm going to put this on thingy, so once again, if you need any in, info out that book, give us a shout. Excuse the mess, I just suddenly come in and, and saw all these, I thought, ah, it gives me a chance to say, and it's easier to do it this way than sort of write it up, because I, as you all know, I detest typing, so um, there we are, you, um, I'm going to put it on. Thanks again for nice video. Um, it's an interesting subject. Uh, I think you'll get a lot of interest out there. Anyhow, I'm going to send it off, so I'm clearing down now. Thanks for watching. Any comments, please make. Um, any other queries, give us a shout. If, if I can help out, I will. Thank you. Yeah, just in passing, there's another valve there, which is quite a large one. I might have put this one up, I don't know. But anyhow, um, have a look, um, you know, all, all, all these kind of things. As you probably know, valves d did range from all, all shapes and sizes, from the, the little acorn valves up to ginormous transmitting valves, which will probably prompt someone to uh, show some of those. They are fascinating. Unfortunately, taken their place has been largely taken over by solid-state transistors, but there's still need for these these valves and there's still plenty in use so anyhow thanks again i'm going to clear down and upload this i i don't think i've done any, anything wrong by showing that video on on there if i have i apologize but it's there to help out so you know if i've done wrong let me know and um, i'll get back thanks again thank you